I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my video series, which explores the triumphant victory of Donald John Trump to the office of President of the United States of America. Now, no matter which side of this political spectrum you fall under, I think we can all agree the 2016 election cycle will be discussed, debated, and deconstructed by political historians for decades to come and beyond. When it comes to the abundant improbable factors that were littered throughout Trump's presidential campaign, I feel like the villain from the Zoolander movie series. Doesn't anyone else see this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. My video series is not a protest or denouncement of Mr. Trump's ascension to the office. Instead, this series takes a casual examination at the victory that nearly all signs pointed to a defeat. The running theme of this series is things that make sense but don't make sense. I don't have enough text space to write all of that along with the subtitle of each video, so I condensed it to Trump makes sense question mark. There are many things in life that happen which seem to defy logic. You've probably heard of the concept of things that work on paper but not in practice. Well, sometimes there are things that work in practice but not on paper. There are times when the more you study a subject, the more it seems that the subject shouldn't be happening. The more you know, the less logical the subject becomes, yet the subject still occurs. That is what this series is about. Take bees, for example. Based on our understanding of flights, bees should not be able to fly, but they do. Despite mankind's vast knowledge of mathematics, mechanical engineering, and aerodynamics to the point where we are able to visit space and other planets, our research says that bees shouldn't be able to fly. But they do. Bees make sense, but don't make sense. Donald Trump managed to get the highest position of an organization despite having zero experience in the field of that organization. Donald Trump will sit in the executive chair despite the fact that the five living people that previously sat in that chair told everyone Trump wasn't fit to sit in that chair. Donald Trump managed to get millions of people to support him because they couldn't trust the other candidates, despite the fact that he was statistically proven to lie 70% of the time. Donald Trump convinced millions of people that they do not identify themselves as racist, xenophobic, or sexist to vote for a candidate that has an agenda which targets specific minorities, immigrants, and women. For all those reasons and more, Donald Trump's successful election to the office of President of the United States makes sense, but does not make sense. It's a good thing that the Riddler is not a real person. Instead of trying to defeat Batman, he might try to, to assassinate President Trump or retaliate against the government out of sheer jealousy. Ever since November 9th, the day after the election, I have been on an emotional roller coaster. There are five stages of grief, and this video series is a way for me to journey toward true acceptance of the future presidential administration. I'm not saying that I don't accept Trump's victory. Again, this video isn't a protest. There are numerous factors about this election that boggle my brain nearly to the point of mental collapse. I hope you'll follow my journey to true acceptance as I contemplate some of the facts, events, and reasons why Trump makes sense. I pride myself on trying to understand and respect the people and beliefs that don't agree with my positions. I will be as fair as I possibly can throughout the video series except for one particular issue. That issue is like the advice in Captain America 3. Plant yourself like a tree and tell everyone, no, you move. I'll give fair warning at the beginning of that video. I hope you'll watch it. I hope you'll watch all the videos. Whether you'll agree or disagree with my evaluations, you'll probably learn or rediscover information that you'll find interesting. Perhaps you'll discuss the information among your social circle as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you'll join me for the entire series. Please like and share this video. Please share your comments. Please be respectful with your comments. 
And remember, find inspiration everywhere.